guys, and welcome back to another lip balm review. Today is another lip zest lip balm review. Uh, another Easter one, actually. Did I do Easter last time? Yeah, I did. So I just had this blank moment. Dude, it's still on this table. I'm dumb. But anyway, so today I'm doing the Cottontail Cotton Candy one. And can I just say, how cute are these little bun buns? They're so freaking cute. Anyway, so <laughs> um, getting right into it. Format-wise, it is a stick obviously. And packaging wise, it's white two, white tap, <laughs> tap, white cap, that was fast, white cap, white label, everything's white, white bunnies. The only thing colored is the font on here. So, cotton candy, cotton candy, cotton tail, cotton candy. Almost a tongue twister, <laughs> but anyway. Um, so there's that. It is natural and organic. Same ingredients as usual. Uh, they are a limited edition. I'm actually not sure if you can even still buy these at this point. Um, double check the link I'm gonna put in the description, as always, with Obsessed Reviews. Um, she does limited runs of all of them. I'm not 100% certain if these are still being sold or not. If so, snag them all you can, because they're gonna go quick. If they're already gone, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, so, amount of product is not listed, but I think it's about 0.15 ounces, because that's standard stick amount. Shelf life is also not listed, but I'm going to take a gander on a year or two. Uh, price point is 3 bucks a pop, plus shipping. Sturdiness-wise, let's see. Uh, the trim wheel's not too wiggly. That's better than a lot. So, the cap has the nice, satisfying click. It's a bit of a flimsy cap, but nothing to worry about, I don't think. Unless you uh, make a habit of sitting there messing with the cap, I don't think you have anything to worry about there. So yeah, um, anyhow, I think it's sturdy enough. No special features, like SPF or medication, so on to the scent. And the wax is just also white and goes on clear. So this is a lighter scented one, and... You know, I always have a hard time trying to tell the difference between bubblegum scents and cotton candy scents. They are so similar to me. I mean, to other people, they probably feel miles apart to me. I don't know why. I mix the two up routinely. So to me, I feel like my brain is going, that's not cotton candy, that's bubblegum. Then I think about, I'm like, I could definitely see cotton candy smelling like that too, but my brain, for whatever reason, is screaming, that's bubblegum, so for whatever that's worth to you, if you like the smell of bubblegum, I, for whatever reason, think this one smells like bubblegum, even though it's supposed to be cotton candy. Either way, it's a good scent, so I'm totally not complaining, but yeah, that's the thing. So anyway, I'm um, gonna put this on and try it on. And as always, it feels so satisfying. Hard to tell if there's actually flavor or if it's psychosomatic, because typically I don't think lip zest are flavored per se, they're just scented, but again, my brain is giving me very mixed messages right now. And you totally do smell this one once it's on. Some you do, some you don't, but this one you do. And yeah, my brain is still st still saying bubble gum for whatever reason. That's cool. I don't even mind. Like I said, I like the smell of bubble gum, so I am not complaining. It's just one of those things where it's like, okay, brain, I know I have a cold, but come on. Really, though, I always mix these two up. So anyhow, um, let's see. Consistency-wise, hmm. I would say this is a thin lip balm. This one feels thinner than some of the other lip zest products, which... Not a problem, just one of those things where I always feel the, it worth mentioning how thick or thin a product is, so depending on somebody's personal likes or dislikes, could be better, could be worse, you know, just personal preference, I don't mind, but um, the actual consistency, though, is still really nice. It's very rich and creamy and smooth, and just overall, really nice. Let's see, any stickiness? No, no stickiness. That's one thing I love about this brand, is that they're not sticky. So, there's that. And these, I find to be moisturizing. Are they the most moisturizing one I've ever used in my life? No, but they do the job well enough. I mean, 
they feel better after I use them, so I count that as a win. So, there's that. Um, since this is a first impression with this one, I can't fairly say longevity-wise how long for sure it'll stay on, but I will do the drink test. Oh, and um, shine factor-wise, let's look. This one, actually, I don't know, is it just me, or is it less shiny than a lot of them? Hard to say. Hard to say. I think it's a little less shiny. But again, I'm not at all complaining. It's just, they all have slight variances to them, and I report on them when I review them. So, anyway, drink test. And I'm looking at the time on this, and I'm like, whoa, I'm blowing through this fast today. <clears throat> hmm. So far, it doesn't seem to be thinning out, so good job. I'm gonna give it a pass on the drink test. Yay! So, okay, overall rating. Let me think. Overall rating for this one. Um, hmm. What would I even dock it for? Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I really don't have any particular specific complaints with this one, in all honesty. But at the same time, it doesn't feel 10 worthy, you know? So. Huh. Whenever I'm in these situations, it's really difficult trying to figure out what number to assign to it when I'm not going by the point docking system. So, I think I'm going to say on this one, I'm torn between 7 or 8 for what my gut instinct is on giving this particular one, so I think I'm going to go 7.5, just middle of the road, make it easy on myself. Um... The scent could be a little bit stronger in this one. Whether or not it needs to be more cotton candy-ish is up to you, I don't really care. But I would say a little bit stronger on the scent, but... Um, I personally usually like the lip balms to be a teeny bit thicker, but that's just personal preference. It's not anything wrong with it by any means. Again, some people prefer them this way, so that's cool. Um, and I do tend to like them a little bit shinier, but it's not about me. So this is just, um, if I could improve it. These are the things I would improve, but other than that, I really don't have anything bad to say about it whatsoever. So, um, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's a very pleasant, enjoyable scent, but would I say it's my favorite scent in the world? Nah, but I do enjoy it. So, would it be an everyday one? Nah, one I use when I'm in the mood for it, so that's why I feel like 7.5 is, it's above average, it's still on the more liked side than anything, but at the same time, it's not the total top of the grading scale, you know? So, anyway, I'm kind of just babbling at this point, so I'm going to wrap this up, especially because I am still trying to not lose my voice all the way <laughs> with this stupid cold. But anyway, um, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. Did any of you guys also get this one? If so, what did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments, as well as, if you have this one, am I on crack, or does this smell like bubblegum? Like, for real, I know I have a cold, and it messes with the way I smell things sometimes, but I'm pretty sure that smells like bubblegum. I am, like, almost 100% positive on this because I smelled this when I first got it, too. So it's not like this is the first time I smelled it. I seem to remember, I even thought at that moment that I feel like that's more bubblegum than cotton candy, but maybe it's just me. So now I'm just like, okay, I'm like really positive that's bubblegum. So I kind of want a second opinion from somebody else who has it, has used it, you know, just out of curiosity, so. But that is just my opinion, and again, they are very similar scents. They're very sweet scents that, they're, I would say they're very much in the same scent family, if that even makes sense to anyone outside my own head. I don't know that I'm making sense. I'm probably just saying words at this point, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so wrapping this up, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and can shed some light on whether or not this smells like cotton candy or if this smells like bubblegum, <laughs> if anyone else has it, so. Um, yeah, 
anything else you guys feel like leaving me, also leave in the comments. And till next time, bye!